and when things are looking good like i got the extensions only what oh my god bitch i got 96 percent for physics what the fuck yo 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 freak hey yo freak you're watching come on now hit the subscribe Technology at the University of Western Cape, and the results are out. Wow, we're gonna take them together, and y'all know science is no games. Like doing, I'm doing science, like a science major, doing like um um life sciences, which also like biology. I am doing chemistry, I'm doing physics, and I'm doing computer literacy. And like I've never done computer at school, so like it was a new module for me. But like the, the results are out and honestly while we're being honest here yeah, i am kind of expecting like like distinctions like a's like everything above 80 percent because like all my assignments and exams have been getting nothing below 80 percent so it's kind of like okay so just expecting like 8 8 1 0 2 0 3s and like maybe 85 for physics i don't know because like i really like in physics like i was the bomb so like maybe like like today in the 80s and i'm just excited like i don't know it was a lot like it was a lot of studying not sleeping like it was just so much work like it was just so much work like i'm so so excited and like we're gonna check those out together and i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know okay here we go <laughs> okay so wow things are looking good i mean things are looking good like i got the extensions only what oh my god bitch i got 96 percent for physics what the fuck <laughs> This is beautiful. I got 89. Okay, I got 81% for computer literacy. Okay, fine. I really didn't know anything about computers, so that's understandable. And then I got 85% for for chemistry. I guess that's good. And then I got 88% for life science. Um, I guess that's good too. And I got 96% for physics okay let me see my total average um what's my calculator okay 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 oh wow my total average is is 88 percent oh my god that is so beautiful oh i guess i'm proud i guess i don't even know all i gotta say is uwc where the hell is my distinction money i don't know what they charge for distinctions but i know they talk i don't know how they give you get this somebody told me it's like two thousand rands someone told me it's like 300 rand so like i just pay it's two thousand rand because i keep two thousand rand i have eight thousand rand in my pockets for getting distinctions like what the hell oh my god like guys i'm so proud of myself like i am so proud I mean, with these marks, I'm gonna be in invited to the um, Golden Key Society because, girl, who's getting 88% at university? Let me state this: this is actually 88% is an average, and this is actually my my highest average. This is my highest average of all time because, like, my average is usually like 78 or 80 or something around it, or like 70 something. At 88% average girl, I've never gotten such a high average in my life. Never. I mean, I usually get distinctions. I usually get like three, maybe like four distinctions or five or something. But like not like every, not like a full half of distinctions. I've never gotten a full half of distinctions. So like this is the first time I'm getting a full half, a distinction full house, and it's in university, and I'm just so proud of myself. And girl as science science is a lot of work it's a lot of work it's a lot of studying it's it's just too much it's too much but like i'm proud and you know how i did it guys like literally i would not sleep like literally when people are sleeping i am up studying till 4 a.m 
like i am studying i'm doing all i can drinking my water make writing my notes like you just gotta do what you gotta do like like literally each and every single day at school while well, it was still at school i would be at the library i would leave the library at 9 p.m and obviously like let's say my class ended for like from six to nine i'm at the library and i'm studying at the library then i get home and then i up until 11 i'm like socializing and i, I make my food and i do that then from 11 to 1 a.m i am studying from one to half past one i take my shower from half past one to like 4 a.m studying again then i sleep and then i wake up at like seven three hours of sleep baby girl i mean sometimes i'm thinking like two sometimes i'm thinking like three but like usually i sleep at four at seven i'm up i'm watching myself getting ready and then at weekends i do so now like you rest and like maybe on friday i would go out and then study and sunday i'm studying again like i was like studying every single day i was always tired like i was literally always tired like i worked really hard for this month because like i saw the potential and like i, I like i could do it it's like i had to cut down my friends i would just neglect some of my friends like i just speak to i spoke to my family less. like i just i like it was just so much like i just like so much and to get these results it really makes me so proud it's like oh my god like all i'm doing i am doing it for my grandma i want to see her live a better life like I, the circumstances she's living in right now don't really make me happy so i just have to work hard i have to push because like she she rose her her family and then she she rose her sisters her kids and her kids kids and i just we're gonna raise our kids too like that woman is a powerful woman she rose four generations and like i'm just so i just pray that god like keeps her for like at least like 20 more years so that like i can work like get a job and like just provide for her because like she really deserves that like i want to do so much for that lady because she has been with me and my lowest and she's just been that woman and i'm just pushing so hard for her oh, if you know what i mean so yeah guys like honestly the only way you can get the results that you want is if you study hard you push every single day and there's days where i'm like oh my god i can't study i'm tired i can't do this and i be like okay i have to push myself to do it and it, you don't have to study every day you don't have to but you must at least like you can get like one or two off days in a week like from monday to sunday but like just make sure that every day you at least try to put like five hours into studying and on weekends at least like 10 hours into studying and if you do this every day and then sometimes when you feel like you're tired and you can't do it it's okay but as long as you're doing as much as you can and stay a topic ahead staying a topic ahead make sure that at least like you are a, a work ahead and when it when the lecture starts that topic you know it's okay you have a better understanding and what i do is before i do a topic i write notes about it and when i write notes about it i don't write the notes to understand but i write the notes to get the top the, the concepts a bit into my head and after i write the notes and then that is when i i, I, I read my the, the, the textbook after reading the textbook at least i have a better understanding and after reading the textbook i go back to the notes and i read those that i wrote and after doing that i i i, I write like questions based on the notes so like i start by writing notes then i read the textbook then I read my notes and i write then obviously writing is the practice makes perfect so that you get the concept into your mind and you understand the, the concepts and let me tell you this it takes time you're not just gonna do it once and get into your brain no you really gotta do like twice or thrice or even four times or even ten times for it to actually get into your brain and i know studying sometimes is annoying and it's hard and it's like oh my god i kind of i don't want to do this but like if you know where you're going you know you're dreaming you know your goal you know your you, where you want to go you will do it the end goal is literally 
worth it because like now i have to work hard because like i really want to do postgraduate in america so i have to push these marks i have to get this kind of marks every single semester every single time and i don't know if i'm gonna be able to do that because getting these marks was flipping hard like like studying hard is flipping hard but to get the, the dream the, the job everything that you want you gotta study hard like i am pushing as much as I can so that I can get that full scholarship to go stand in the United States in America and do my postgraduate day. And with this marks, baby girl, I am really on my way and I'm just so proud of myself. And trust me, if you continue studying hard and doing all you can, you will get to where you wanna get. And now I am gonna go show my friend how this results and kinda check her action. I'm gonna hide the camera so she doesn't see it. And I'm gonna show her the results and I don't know what she's gonna say, but like I'm just happy. Hey, hoping and praying that she's like proud of me. Well, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, and I really appreciate it. And oh, y'all, yeah, and okay, yeah, thank you, I love you. And I'm probably like, honestly, probably like, I don't know, but we'll see. Well, thank you, I love you so much. Now you know it's popping in here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.